here's what I want to say. I want to help you out. A couple of things. Number one, obviously God has answered that he doesn't want you to go back to work. You just said it. Doors are closed. So that means that he has something else for you to do. And you obviously have great talent and skills that the Lord wants to rely on. I will tell you the next step in the plan is to take that book that you just got published and create a whole program around it, create a training program so that you can minister this word that God gave you to the body of Christ, particularly those in your area. You realize that you take your book, you start doing some, some classes now and make it easy, you know, get it ready. Because this is, hardly ever does God want you to write a book that he keeps pushing. Now, a lot of people write books because they think somebody needs to hear their testimony. And, you know, some people do, but, I mean, right now we're kind of drowning on testimonies. And so um, we probably don't, if we don't get another devotional piece of work written and for the next five years, God will be okay. Because we're, testimonies are inspiring, they're helpful, but many times they're just catharsis for other people. And so we probably have had enough of other folks' catharsis. So what I would well, say... That's a confirmation right there because he didn't want me to put a testimony in the book. It's strictly teaching. He's trying, teaching. To, he's trying to develop the body, and we're trying, to, we're trying to engulf the body in our experience. And so God wants us to move from just sharing our experiences to establishing our expertise. So I would suggest to you that God is not finished with that subject or that product. He definitely needs you to begin to build on what you put out. So now you've written a book, and that's great. They can read it. But what can they do with what you've delivered to the body of Christ? You know, when we deliver a baby who can't do anything more than be born, we call it, uh, you know, challenged at the least, handicapped. And so... Uh, I do believe that God wants you to do that and then start setting up classes. So you've got about a good year, nine months to a year of small work to finish a project that God wants you to do. I would suggest you do that and see what the Lord will do. You know, I want to say to everybody who's on the line that starting your ministry to just talk is futile. You know, we like to talk and preach because the church is a one-sided communicator. We want, to, we want to tell our story, preach our words, share our revelation, but we don't really consider what the people should do with that or, or the integrity with which they act on it. So I would suggest to you immediately that you sit down before the Lord and start saying, okay, God, next step. Because when you are a minister, God, if God here's what I want everybody to get. If you're a minister... God gives you more than a task. He gives you a full-fledged assignment that you okay. have to carry, okay? So I would suggest that to you right away. Get yourself, get, you know, find out how you can do it. Get some good examples. Talk to some representatives. Talk to some people who are in the field. You say you would know a lot of folks. So I would suggest that while you're running, that you keep running till you get finished and give God something that he can use. Okay. All right? Because okay. a, lot of, a lot of times we just stop at the, the well, I wrote the book, my God, I'm wild, out, I'm done, I'm through. But <laughs> really, if you're, a, if you're a minister, you have to bear fruit. I'll tell everybody, the original meaning of the word minister was M-I-N, which is he who bears fruit for his God. And that's a powerful thought, because not a lot of us are bearing fruit for God. And what did Jesus come and pray? He said that you would bear much fruit and that your fruit would remain, that you would minister. So, anyway, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you so much for the testimony. I'm excited. Now, listen, I want you to keep me posted. Now, keep me in the dark on this. I'd like to want you to keep me posted because there's a whole journey for you, and the Lord is going to have a blast. You know, and by the way, and don't make it so difficult that only the PhDs can do it. Hallelujah. No, uh, that, um, you're, uh, I, I made sure that it's... Uh, uh, very uh, reader friendly and um, and practical in terms of what he gave me, um, and I'll I'll send you a copy as soon as I get it back and and sign it, and then you can <laughs> you can take a look at it, and I'll I'll send a note that hey uh, you inspired me to get off my butt and get it moving and to not uh, not well, to uh, hurt the Lord's feelings, but do, you know do the job. All right, well, good enough. Well, you stay with it, and I'll be looking for that copy. 